Pleasure to see you all again, and welcome to my humble ranch. Managed to get your truck fixed? Indeed I did. You must have been my lucky charms. She started up right after you left. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Are we ever. Need them to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though. Chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies, you're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo, nature's two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out.
on the side. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. Now, I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops? Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could've fooled me, kid. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But... I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. <sighs> the thing is, we don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Hmm. Well, there is one other option. Only cost you a grand. Uh. Is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours, free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico, the hardest-headed bird you'll ever meet, by far. <laughs> and he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made them. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet-like, you'll wrangle them no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> Y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here. Riding and rearing lessons are on me. brother. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose, but he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. <gasps> Say, are you guys from Midgar? Yeah, the Undercity. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, not very well, but yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault mom and dad are gone, so... Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. But they could help! Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye. Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. doesn't give you all too much trouble.
Bingo. Yeah! Come on, y'all! Let's go bag us a chocobo! Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah. Just the cutest? <laughs> oh. You know, they are kind of similar. Totally. <laughs> You know where there's more? Bill's place. <gasps> Back to the ranch it is then. Come on. Until he's done eating. Once he's at his fill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea if we ask him nice. Ain't that right? I'll need to prep his gear and all that, so why don't you wait outside? Hey there. What a pleasant surprise. You do remember me, don't you?
I knew you would. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much materia. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But, to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. They were originally constructed by the Republic of Juna, but were claimed by Shinra after the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. If we find any, we'll turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. See that tower? That's your first target. And this will activate it. As the tower is close by, allow me to accompany you. Here we are. Activation confirmed. Initiating a preliminary scan of the grasslands. I'll ascertain the locations of fiends and natural resources. After careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia, quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? With each piece of world intel you collect, you will also provide me with the data I need to develop new materia. What I ultimately produce, however, is for you to decide. I look forward to finding out what we can create together. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? These communications towers were built by the Republic of Junon in order to further their understanding of the planet. They scan for all manner of signals, which in turn reveal myriad locations of interest, such as long forgotten ruins and rare natural phenomena. Should you happen to stumble across a tower, please activate it. I must urge you to proceed with caution, though. Feral beasts often claim these installations as their territory. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? With a special pair of goggles, you can do battle in a virtual arena, regardless of your real-world location. That's the combat simulator, or my combat simulator, as Shinra developed the stationary models first. And fret not, it will never be obsolete. I'll keep it up to date with intel from unique enemy encounters. I will also endeavor to implement all of the summons, once I finish analyzing the myths and legends surrounding them, of course. 
In fact, after poring over stories from the grasslands, I have finished implementing a new one, the towering colossus known as Titan. Engage him at your leisure. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? Which particular task would you like to learn about? Simply put, life springs are formed when the life stream breaches the planet's surface. To Shinra, the volume of Mako that can be extracted from these springs is insignificant, certainly not worth the expense. But to us, they are a veritable font of knowledge. In order to tap these precious reserves, however, you will first need to find them. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. While it is normal for creatures to adapt to their environment, sometimes these adaptations make them a threat. I would like you to track down and eliminate these creatures and amass data on them in the process. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. In certain remote areas, fragments of planetary wisdom have coalesced into crystalline forms. Though the knowledge contained within them is vast and varied, one subject is of particular interest to me, that of summons. If you would analyze the crystals in my stead, thus extracting said knowledge from them, I can use it to enhance our materia. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. Ah, yes, I was hoping you would ask. I detected some strange energy signals earlier. My current theory is that they emanate from the remnants of ancient artifacts. But until we investigate, there's simply no telling what the sources might be. And since we have yet to identify them, I have taken the liberty of naming these objects Proto Relics. <laughs> a rather endearing name, if I may say so. At any rate, I would be grateful if you could investigate said curiosities and ultimately recover them for study. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? In that case, I see no reason not to begin at once. With your activation of this tower, my analysis of the grasslands has already yielded some data. Though hardly substantial, it is enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? I wish you all the best in the long journey that lies ahead of you. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask.
about? I have recreated Titan, the mythical colossus of the grasslands, in virtual space. I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete its materia.
Perhaps you're having an off day. Needless to say, many hazards await you on the road, so take care. all prepped. But first, here, you just give that whistle a toot and your chocobo will come a-running. So, who here's never been on Chocoback? I haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. where we get our birds in shape for the races. What races? The gold saucers, I mean. They're a big deal in our community. Won't find a ranch around here that doesn't compete. So you guys race too? We've been sitting it out since Mom and Dad left. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. But never you mind all that. You just focus on the basics, like making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. Why don't you try hopping on Pico and giving me a holler? Remember now, just give your whistle a blow to ride your chocobo. about we stretch his legs a bit. But hey, now that you got the basics, it's just a matter of practice. We can't thank you enough, Billy. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? Then you might want to swing by Calm again. Now that the troopers have cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around for work. Though, don't run off just yet. My sister's looking for help. Not sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason. Honestly? She hasn't been herself since Mom left. They did dang near everything together. You want to lend Chloe a hand? We need to move on. True, but moving on costs money. 
We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Same deal. What's up? Keep riding like that and you'll clean up at the races.